I'm this really tall, lanky person who just bumbles through the world, but when I'm with my hula hoop, it's like this connection, and I just feel so graceful. And I didn't think that I could feel graceful like that in my skin. When did you start hooping, and how did it come into your life? I started hooping nine years ago. I was really sick because I have a hair loss disease called alopecia areata. I had lost over 60%, 75% of my hair at a time when I was traveling and I was feeling really lonely and depressed and my self-esteem was just in the toilet. Hula hooping became my therapy to really build my self-esteem up again, but from the inside out. What physical features are you most critical of? So I'm really critical of my waist to my lower thighs. It's it's pretty doughy and there's a lot of stretch marks up in there. Just all of these things that I've been taught from a young age aren't aesthetically pleasing or will not attract somebody else. After being told that enough times, it definitely wears on you and gets into your head. I was never a dancer, never athletic before I discovered hoop dance. I've always considered myself very clumsy, but when I picked up the hula hoop, I basically discovered that anything is possible with my body. What three physical features do you find the most beautiful about yourself? I love my eyes. I've always been told that they were expressive. My neck and my shoulder, and I have very elegant sloping shoulders and a long graceful neck. Third would be my tiny waist. I've always loved the hourglass figure. Why did you choose to be part of the My Hooper Body Project? Within the hoop community, we are all sizes. We're really body positive and supportive. Every hooper has a different body, has different strength in their body. But people on the outside of the hooping community have a hard time seeing that. When I'm carrying my hula hoop around, it's something that people are naturally interested in. I'll be telling people how easy it is to start hula hooping, how great it is for you, and how excellent it is for your soul. And people will respond like with this resistance based on a physical ideal. Oh, I would if I had your body, or I would if I was your age again. To have a body like a hooper may have, whatever your perception of that is, it's a fake reality. I'm hoping that people who might feel deterred to start hula hooping is because there's an ideal that is presented in order to be a hooper, can see this and become a part of the community. I just feel like I, I'm always having to be conscious about what I eat and like what I do and how I eat things.